Hello, uh, welcome to this walkthrough of Grid Machine River. Um, there's been a whole bunch of Grid Machine um, walkthroughs, so check out the others if you haven't seen it uh, or them. Um, okay, this is Grid Machine River. Uh, when you unpack it from the collection, you will find there are two subfolders we'll, one called Grid Machine River Chromatic and another one called Grid Machine River Percussive. So, uh, chromatic sounds and uh, a percussive version. Here we are in the chromatic library and you'll find rivers A to F. Here's river A. This is what all the river interfaces more or less look like. Uh, the concept here is that there are eight streams in the river and there are three bridges. Another way to think of this is eight tracks uh, and three playheads. Um, each of these tracks uh, will uh, listen to this counter here um, and you can set the counter limits here let's clear the river to start things um, if I turn everything off you can hear river one or stream one running on its own it's looking for multiples of eight uh, as usual with all grid machine products press this red uh, key here to begin and it counts to eight happening. Um, there's these red sticks, for want of a better term, floating down the river. And when they go under a bridge, they make a noise. Uh, in this particular case, um, if we go look at stream number one, uh, we'll find that it's playing these notes, these two, uh, uh, these velocities, and for these lengths. So a kind of little three note phrase is being played each time it arrives at a bridge. In this case, there's um, two notes that have got a velocity of zero, so they're not actually playing, but um, what happens is, let's put some velocity in there. It will wait one quarter beat. Uh, it will wait for the entire length of this uh, note, then play this note, and then play this note. So clear the river again, start again. that happening. Let's add some more. Clear to start again. Okay, so that's just one river, uh, one stream in the river. Um, there's a, an overall, you can get choose the particular sound you're using and the tempo that it's running at. You can load and save presets and we'll look at presets and we'll have a look at some of those in a little bit. Uh, as I say, these are the streams, uh, streams one to eight, and you can modify each of them in any way you want. Go to stream eight. Uh, you can randomize what's happening in here with just this button here. And then you can see that uh, all in the root note of E major uh, in this case. You can copy from stream 1 to stream 8. Uh, you can change the octaves and they will copy in. So stream 1 will copy the contents of stream 1 into here from stream 1. Do that. Uh, as you can see. Uh, so let's copy those in. Currently stream 8 is turned off, so you can turn on and off uh, and mute and unmute them with these buttons. The bridges themselves, uh, here we are looking at bridge 1s. You can mute the bridge and you can change its position to any way you would like, up and down the length of the, the river. I'll put it here for a second. You can set the length of the note it's playing to 1 times, 2 times or half length. You can add some transposition in, um, up and down an octave, I'll just leave it at zero. And you can do a velocity offset, so some minus 80 to plus 80. Um, so we'll just leave it at, say, that for now. Um, and if you look at stream two, stream two, 
You'll see it's playing these notes. Stream three is playing these. Stream four is playing those. Uh, and you can get kind of fairly complicated little um, phrases happening fairly quickly. Um, and as I say you can load uh, all sorts of river presets let's try this one clear to start with area you get two instruments drum percussion and IDM which is using a bunch of IDM type noises but they're both doing percussive type sounds so if we look in the stream it tells you which of these sounds that you might want to use there are a lot of them um, and how you want to use them so we hit this button and go. <laughs> slightly more interesting thing that's happening in here if uh, if anything is that for each of the sounds that you're using in this case electro pop it's possible to choose that sound and set all its effects um, so if we load some more presets randomly and press go <laughs> same principle same stuff um, it ends up being a very polyrhythmic sort of arrangement so you get lots of interesting tribally sort of noises out of this one hope you have fun with it take care bye bye <laughs>